Could a shift in the magnetic poles happen in the near future? Uh, how does that occur, and what would that mean for both humans, biologically as well as technologically? Okay, dude, we're, the poles are shifting all the time. Okay. All the, all time. the time. All right, and we say, oh, compass points north. No, it points to the north magnetic pole, which is not near the north geographic pole. Like we're sa Santa is like North Pole, right. bar none, all right? The magnetic pole is like in Canada somewhere, all right? <laughs> so people who in the old days, pre-GPS, who hiked with compasses would need a magnetic, what they called it, uh, was it a declination or a decrement? They need to know what angle difference between the compass and true north would give you depending on where they were in the world. Is, so, is that where true north comes from? When true north is, say that is true the north. north is Santa. Right. At true north is the difference between true north and magnetic north. That difference you have to keep track of. Gotcha. Otherwise, you're, you're lost. All right. So a compass is only good as how close the north pole is to the north pole. All right. Gotcha. Now here's something cool. You ready? Do you realize <laughs> that the north pole of a compass points to the north pole of the Earth? But you've played with magnets before. Mm -hmm. What happens when you bring two north poles together? Well, they kind of hate each other. They repel. That's right. Yet your North Pole on a magnet is pointing to the North Pole of the Earth. That tells you that Earth's North Pole actually has the South Magnetic Center. Oh! So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's just the opposite. It's just the opposite. It's just the opposite. It's just the opposite. The North Magnetic Pole of the Earth is Earth's South Pole. Oh, That's man. That's why all North Poles of magnets point there. Uh, oh, my. That is amazing. You didn't know that. No, no because... You think it's North Pole. That's what you've been That's told. That's what you point to if you're North. But you're right. But, but, but the North Pole of the magnet would not point towards the North Pole. It would go the opposite. It would go the opposite way. So the North Pole is actually the South Pole. Exactly. Hey, I'm just saying. So Santa is truly at the South Pole. Yes, south, uh, near the South Magnetic the Pole. The South Magnetic The real rotational That's North real Pole. Right. Exactly. So uh, the poles not only wander, they've actually d diminished in intensity and increased over time. Right now, we're on a diminishing intensity pole. The worry is, if it goes away, then what happens to the like solar particles and radiation that hits right. the Earth? Right. Do we all go extinct? Yes. We're worried about that. So you look at the record of where the pole has been. We have that because it freezes, quote, freezes into the lava that comes out of volcanoes. It remembers what orientation the pole was at the time it solidified. So you have a whole tracking of the history of where the magnetic pole was. And after this break, you'll find out whether we go extinct or not. You're listening to Star Talk Radio back in a moment. In a previous segment, someone asked what would happen to life if the Earth's magnetic field changed? That's right, if our I, we I lost our dynamo. To, if we lost it, I forgot to say, we have evidence that the magnetic field has gone away many times before. Oh. Because it goes to zero as it flips. Our magnetic field, our magnetic field has flipped okay. several, t many times in the past. Okay. It's flipped. So okay, okay. so it's and, happened. And, and so when it's flipped, it goes to zero. You can look at the fossil record. While we had zero magnetic field, they would carry on making babies just fine. So <laughs> whatever is their version of a baby is just fine. It's just fine. So it does not appear to be as severe as you might think. Okay. The evidence shows. That's good yeah. to know. Yeah. 